Hi, I'm Laura, KK7RTU. And this is Michael, KK7RRD. Okay, at the beginning of the year, we decided to do the ham radio classes. We had no idea about nothing uh, regarding uh, ham radio, and uh, we attend a local uh, class, and uh, we got the uh, cheapest uh, boafeng, two of them, 40 bucks, and uh, we learned how to actually communicate. We passed the examination, and uh, then we upgraded for a general, and uh, the next one will be amateur extra. And uh, we do this because it's fun. You can connect with the people around the world and uh, from other states. Uh, it's not about competitions and all that that they are doing. It's just the fact that uh, you can use those to talk with people and even to talk uh, with uh, the loved ones. If they are a little bit far away, you can use uh, this instead of use a small walkie-talkie that is going maybe one mile or two, if you are lucky. We are living in a forest and I think it's good for us because sometimes you want to talk to other people on different mountains you don't have to use the cell phones because some of them they don't have reception some of them don't even have the cell phones because they're relying in the radio um, and um, we're building our own home we're being very busy but i started to do this uh, class on my own you can you can learn easy you can go online or uh, you can listen to uh, my wife uh, answering to the questions yeah, I done the uh, questions and answers. I didn't want to do the technician, which is the first class, because uh, I believe it's better to do it in person with the instructor, with the experienced guy, because you're going to be in contact with the community and also you're going to get more hands-on things and uh, they're going to help you program to your, your uh, ham radios and... Um, you, you're gonna know everybody in your community. I think it's better to make a relationship with people around you. Yeah, you're gonna make new friends, you're gonna learn how to use those and uh, uh, sooner or later, after you finish, you will not know everything. So you will have clue, you will, you will not know how to program this, you'll know nothing. So you just uh, pass the, the test and you're gonna get uh, your uh, uh, you know. You're gonna get access to your uh, <clears throat> frequencies. So uh, on the end of the the class, you're gonna pass the test, but you'll don't know basically almost nothing. Yeah, you're gonna answer the questions and you're gonna have some ideas, but you will not have have actually talking on those. And, uh, and this is nothing. You're gonna have to actually upgrade to better ones uh, that you can talk a little bit more far away. And uh, you're gonna connect with uh, repeaters. Uh, all the ham radio, it's a multi-level communication uh, uh, array in which you can use uh, Morse code or you can use the regular ham, small ham radios connect to the repeaters or you can use the bigger ones, you can uh, talk uh, on different continents with the bigger antennas even with the stations uh, you can with use the internet, satellite. so you can you, you can use the internet and uh, you can connect uh, using the internet and talking with other people around the world or you can talk with a space station which is uh, amazing it's an experience and uh, you're gonna learn it you're gonna love it um, that's what i think some people they got bored because um, they're gonna talk a little bit and that's it but uh, those are the best communication that you can have uh, they are not relying on any towers for the cell phones, that's true, without the repeater you will talk only maybe a couple of miles using the, the mountains it's better because actually that's going to reflect the signal you can use some antennas and you can connect with the people around the, your, uh, your area uh, if you use a bigger antennas and uh, with uh, more uh, wattage then you can actually connect with the people around the world but the main thing is uh, you can uh, you can Keep in touch with people that uh, they are older. Maybe the cell phone they are not working. We are actually been in a forest. Uh, if you go down the road, maybe not even half a mile, it's uh, no signal at all. So it's zero here. We are on the top of uh, of uh, like a hill going in the mountains. The mountains are very close with us. It's maybe half a mile, one mile. I don't know. It's very close. You are going towards the mountain. The elevation is 3300. So. Uh, Without this, you will not be able to talk with nobody, basically. 
And uh, sometimes you can be in a freeway and have an accident yes. and you're on dead cell zone, and then so somebody can hear you and they can call the nine one one for you. This can say save lives. You can have it in a car and uh, maybe you don't need it, but when you need it, uh, can save people, people lives. And uh, not talking also if you are in the winter and you have a problem with the car and you got stuck on the road. Uh, when outside it's uh, minus 5 or minus 20 Fahrenheit, without one of these, you're going to be a dead person because it's hard to survive in uh, such temperature. And uh, it's great to actually learn to have it. Uh, uh, it's not expensive. Uh, you're going to record it and you're going to pay a small fee to the government and they're going to record it and give you an ID code. Uh, and using that code, uh, you're going to have to communicate and... Uh, that's how also the government knows who is talking and uh, obviously you will not uh, uh, be able to use uh, uh, dirty language. Uh, you're gonna it's have family to, friendly. It's family, fr fam family friendly. A lot of kids, they are, they are having the license and they can actually communicate. So if uh, a kid, uh, 7, 8, 10, 12 years old, can learn uh, uh, 400 questions, uh, anybody can do it, even if it's going to take you a little bit longer. Uh, for us, uh, basically around two weeks took us to learn and it's not our first language so it's uh, there are some problems because of it and uh, it's really easy the questions are a little bit tricky so basically really you have to learn it it's not uh, exactly the questions that they are in a, in a, in a book theoretically it's supposed to but they are a little bit uh, uh, off yeah like uh, my wife said and uh, yeah, it's not complicated. Basically, you just have to go a couple of times uh, through the questions, read it, and then you try to make uh, to answer correctly on the questions. And by the time you are around uh, 30, 30 answers or 34, 35, like from the from the questions, then you can go and pass the test very very easy. You need only 26 right answers from 35. 35 questions for so, the first two grades. First two first grades. 11, yeah. And there are 411 uh, questions. Uh, you can be unlucky, you learn all of them by 11 and you're going to have those 11. <laughs> but no, that, that cannot be. But anyway, so this is a great thing. Uh, every, everybody should have a, a ham radio license uh, because it can save somebody's life. Life, And uh, uh, you, you will see it, how much value you will see in this. Plus, it's functioning also as a radio. So if you are going somewhere and you are doing some work, basically you are scanning the channels. And you can listen to the radio, and when somebody communicates or maybe needs help, uh, you can actually listen and uh, provide the help or uh, call the authorities to, to provide the help for that person in need. I take over from here. <laughs> Charlie, November 28, WR7DW. Charlie, November 28, WR7DW. This is how you initiate a contact with someone else, and in this instance, Don was trying to get the space station. What is actually a ham radio? A ham radio allows us to communicate over long distances without internet or cell towers, as my husband mentioned earlier. To be able to use these frequencies, you must have a license. And there are three different classes for ham radio. Technician class that has fewer access. General class that does all what technicians do but with more privileges to HF bands. And amateur extra class which have the highest privileges to use all frequencies and modes in HF bands. To get a ham radio license you must pass an exam administered by volunteer examiners who are holding a general class license or higher. The examiners offer their time for free to administer the FCC licensing exams through a FCC Authorized Volunteer Examiner Coordinator Organization. November 28, WR7DW. How long should we take the space station to come back? 90 minutes. 90 minutes? Every 90 minutes? Yeah, about. Yeah. But it's going to move over so you can't course, get every yeah. pass. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, November 28, WR7DW. Hold on. Zero. Put it on zero, zero. Now it was in the bottom one. Okay, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay.
So, I think probably three days. So, you want to put it on the bottom, you hit the dare, it's number one. Zero. Now it's zero. Okay. And that's where I that's where I put five two. Okay, thank you. Testing one two three four. WR seven D W testing. Yeah. Testing one two three four. WR seven D W testing. Okay. When we learn for our first class, we have done it in person with the volunteer ham radio license enthusiast. That was great, and we appreciate him. This is Don. And he is our instructor. We are still having a lot to learn. There, now you have three nine on the top and yeah, five two Absolutely. on the bottom. Yeah. That's what you use most. Of All right, everybody. I want to introduce you to Don. He's our teacher for the ham radio, and it was a good idea for us to learn in school because we got more information. Um, I want you all to know that it's the best to go with somebody in person because you learn more and you'll be with the community, right, Don? Because you and then you learn you learn the, the the camaraderie with the other students. That's the best way, and you connect. And it's to, fun. It's fun, and you have a community to help also. Yeah. After we passed the technician, we wanted to have access to higher privileges and we decided to learn for the general class, yet we wanted to do it in our own time because we are busy building our own house. We started learning at home and for that I created my own crash classes for general to watch or listen in my own time. With that said, it was working out for us and we passed the general exam. I decided that might benefit other people to add my crash courses to the internet. The best way to learn about amateur radio is by doing it. In my crash classes, you're taught the answers to the license examination test pool. Don't try to rationalize it, just do it. Concentrate on the right answers, not on the wrong ones, because they will overwhelm your brain. In a few hours or days, you might be able to learn an entire class. My husband learned for the general in a few days. The most important is to read through the chapters before the test. That was the best for me. Actually, my husband took a nap before the test. I recommend that when you decide to learn for general, even for technician or amateur extra, to do it chapter by chapter and then after each chapter, go and do the test for that specific chapter only. Then keep going to the next chapter, do the test again till you're done with all of them chapters individually. And then in the end, do the practice test for the entire class. When I done my first practice test for general, I passed it with 32 out of 35 questions. You can find the class for free at hamstudy.org. Select what class do you want to test for, what sub-element, and choose the study mode you want to test for. I'm gonna say it again. The best way to learn about amateur radio is by doing it. There might be a ham class in your area or someone that does it, like in our case, because they love to pass on this art for good reason. Exams are administered by local volunteer examiners. They cost can range from free to a nominal fee that should not exceed $15. The exam for technician is of 35 questions, the lowest tier are amateur radio certification and the easiest to pass. The general 35 questions, moderately difficult to pass, and extra 50 questions, the highest level of ham radio certification. The passing score is 74%, which is 26 out of 35 questions and 37 out of the 50 questions. And at the test must be present three volunteer examiners that are preparing the test and the volunteer examiner coordinator is sending the data electronically to the FCC to be able to get your license after you pay a fee of $35. At the end of each sub-element, I'm going to have a link for the next chapter and also about our journey to build a house if you are interested but this is not a how-to 
It's for family and friends updates of our work. At the end of this introduction chapter, we have a link about installing a radio tower in our region. This background is actually part of that video. It has been done by volunteers, led by Don, our instructor, who also donated the tower and the supply for our small community. Don't forget, this is voluntary work. Be kind in making comments and keep it family friendly. The most important, let me know that you passed the test. Good luck and 73. Hi, I'm Laura, KK7RTU. And this is Michael, KK7... Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Hi, I'm... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I don't get it. Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> Your memory is gone. Okay, I got it. Sorry. Okay. Hi, I'm Laura. <laughs> Nu uitați să dați like, să lăsați un comentariu și să distribuiți acest material video pe alte rețele sociale.